What's going on guys and welcome back to another video. So if you've been here before, thanks for tuning in to another video and if you're new here, make sure you go down there and hit subscribe so you don't miss out on any future videos. So I don't know if you guys can agree with me, but this looks so much better than this. I don't know what it is, but to me, these cars just look so ugly with that little wing back there. Like when I first bought this car and it had it, I just thought it was so ugly, but the wing makes a huge difference. So today we're gonna be changing this ugly look of this ugly car. So we got this big box here and there's a wing in it, but it's not your traditional wing like that. Like this is an OEM V6 wing. When I first got this car, I actually had a rep on it and I was able to locate this original one. And so I pulled the trigger on it. I know they're very expensive here in the US now, but I got an OEM V6 wing on this, but this one gets all the cheap parts. This kind of reminds me of like the high low series that Donut does. This one being the high car, that one being the low car. Cause I put all the nice expensive real stuff into this one and all the cheap stuff into that one. So like I told you guys in the previous videos, a lot of you I know are gonna hate this. Some might like it. I'm just sending it. I've only seen two cars with this and I'm thinking this is gonna be the third one. I'm not sure, but let's open up the box. Oh man. So I guess I have to assemble this. Um, I didn't know it was gonna come in pieces, so. I don't want to show you guys what it is yet. I'll just show you guys when I'm installing it on the car. But before I get into assembling this wing, it's time to add some security to this car. So we're going to install these door locks I got at the junkyard the other day. All right, moment of truth. Locked. Unlocked, success. Yes. All right guys, so good and bad news. The bad. I ended up breaking this because that bolt back there, I guess, is so like rusted onto that like nut that it has there that it just broke off. 
but I was able to get it out because it broke off. So that works. The good news is now it locks and unlocks. So we're good to go now. So I already have the wing assembled right there. What I have to do now is take this one off and change the lock on the trunk and we'll be ready to install. So in case any of you guys were wondering how these work, basically they go on and they're held in with like one of these clips back here. And then in the back, there's a rod that has two ends. So it goes in right here goes in right there and then it locks into this clip like that the rod connects the lock to the latch and you're good to go so we're gonna get ready to replace this one and the lock on this is right there so I just got to take that c-clip off and take the bar out and then I can replace it All right guys, so this job turned out to be way more time consuming than I thought. It's right behind me, but I can't show it to you guys right now in the dark because it won't look as cool and it's very dirty. So tomorrow morning, I'm gonna wash it real quick and then I'll play a little montage of clips. Maybe this thing looks good. This wing has made such a huge difference to the car. Like, just look at the back. It's not boring anymore. It doesn't have like a, it does, the back doesn't just like swoop down and just stay there. It swoops down and comes right back up. And I know a lot of you are gonna say like, it's not period correct. Some people are gonna say it looks good. Some people, a lot of people are probably gonna say it doesn't. I actually like it a lot. It's different and it's not like the GD wings where it's like very boxy and it pokes out way too much on the sides. I think it's, I don't know. I think it looks really good on this car. Obviously, I don't think it looks as good as, you know, the original V5, V6. This is a V6 wing. But for the money guys, this thing does the job effortlessly. So now we got rear spats and a wing, like I said, the back of this car looks pretty freaking nice now. I'm genuinely happy with how this thing is turning out. And like I said, for sub $100, you can't deny this thing looks nice. So one other thing I wanna get done today, every time I have to put the prop up, the grommet right here is missing. Well, it was in there, but it fell out and it was actually ripped. So what I did was I super glued it and now it should hold in there and i'm gonna throw some uh, grease in here so hopefully the prop slides side to side properly and it doesn't try to bind like it was and hopefully fix this issue Bruh. All right, well, I guess I couldn't fix it. Um, it keeps popping out. Um, so I guess it has to stay like that for now. I've been thinking about getting hood struts for the blue car. So I think when I do that, I'm just gonna take that grommet and put it on this one. But if it looks easy to replicate, I think I might just 
take the kit that I buy for that one and make my own on this one. We'll see. We'll see what the future holds. It wouldn't be such a problem if this battery wasn't dead, but since it is, I have to pop it every single time I want to start it or even move it so I can jump it. So it's very annoying. I guess I'll just have to deal with it for now. Oh well, but I'm gonna end it off right here, guys. Thanks for watching. If you like this wing, shoot this video a thumbs up. And if you dislike this wing, shoot it a thumbs up anyways. Also, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any future videos. But that's going to do it, so keep moving forward and stay on the gas.